uh, introduce our friends who are seated at the table, and we will start with the gentleman in pink. Uh, he is uh, Dustin Chase. Uh, he is a 28-year-old film critic, and he writes for Texas Art and Film Magazine, and Texas's oldest newspaper, The Daily News. He has been providing reviews for over a decade from North Carolina to Los Angeles and now in Texas. In fact, he lives in Galveston. As the assistant editor of Texas Art and Film, he also covers film festivals and does interviews with actors such as Jodie Foster, Paul Giamatti, and just recently, Cuba Gooding Jr. Dustin attended the red carpet event at the Academy Awards in 2009, and he's been studying and predicting all film awards since 2001. He is also an officer in the Houston Film Critics Society. Uh, in the center, we have uh, Mark Schumann, and Mark uh, has a DBA as the real R-E-E-L dad. Uh, since age 14, Mark has been writing about film and theater, first for the Aurora Colorado Sentinel and Aurora Sun, then for Playbill, and since 1999 for the Hearst Acorn Press, a network of 21 newspapers from New England. He blogs about film at realnutrition.com, and again, that's R-E-E-L, and is finishing his book, 100 Films to Nourish a Family. His concept of film criticism and his title, Real Dad, received a U.S. trademark in 2009. He is also, also an Oscar enthusiast, having hosted an Academy Awards party each year since 1972 and served as an Oscar commentator for the CM Magazine syndicated television program. Uh, then uh, on the left, I guess you would say, we have uh, Travis Lemons. He is from Inside Pulse Movies and is a member of the Film Critics Society as well. Uh, Travis is an astute lover of all things cinema, taking the good with the bad. It wasn't until 2004 when he decided to let the world know what he thought about film. Rising in rank from contributor to managing editor of Inside Pulse Movies, and uh, the URL is insidepulse.com backslash zone backslash movies backslash. He does his best to provide well-written film criticism, as well as provide box office analysis and opinions on films currently in development. When he isn't moonlighting as a film critic, Travis works in the mayor's office in the city of Houston, and he asks us to share that he does not have anyone who can get you out of a parking ticket. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, please welcome Justin Mark and Travis, and we'll let them take it away. Thank you guys for joining us. We're, we're kind of excited to be here because um, what she didn't tell you is that we also do a podcast every week on the site and magazine that I write for, Texas Art and Film. So if you're interested in hearing our critiques and weekly arguments, you, and disagreements. <laughs> disagreements. You, can, you can hear there all the episodes. I think we have 11 episodes on there now. We're going to be filming episode 12 this week. But um, you can go listen to those on there. Um, oh, and, Sorry. Texas Art and Film. Okay. Yeah. There's no hand in the title, but it's just Texas Art Film on the thing. And I'll, I'll give you guys cards after, after we're done. But um, we've been doing this since October, November. We started. It was. I've always wanted to do a, a podcast because so many people in LA do this, and I I kind of picked my two core forts to do this with me, and they stuck with me the whole time. So. Well, and, and you know, the fact is, and, you, know, you might have noticed I'm slightly older. <laughs> And one of the things that we've learned over the years is there's no logic with the Oscars. And so you have to kind of toss logic out. And then I had to kind of explain to Dustin that the Golden Globes don't really matter. <laughs> that those are 85 people who don't even write for movies, but they happen to have these awards. So we've had a lot of fun over the season looking at what could and what eventually the nominee. And Mark and I think we know so much, and in every case, Travis outpredicts us every time. <laughs> Travis had a great sense to realize that Transformers would win in the technical awards, and then your coup was the separation of the screenplay. Yeah. So he's beat us as far as Golden Globe nominations. <laughs> <laughs> so Mark and I are going to try to beat him for the Oscar win. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to kind of go through each category. Um, you guys have your ballots. I think they were up there if you don't have any. And we're going to discuss and argue on what you know, we think is going to win each category. And, you know, this is an interesting year if you've followed so far. You'll know that um, it seems like at every award show, the Golden Globes, the SAG Awards, somebody different's winning. Um, so, I mean, besides, I guess, the artists. And well, they aren't that direct. Once upon a time, there was suspense, and I think this year, 
there could be some surprise, but there isn't a lot of suspense at this point. But there still are some fun things to look at in each race and some surprises that could occur. And again, if you throw logic out the window and realize that the Academy loves to get caught up in the movie of the moment, and then a year from now we'll say, now what one? And then we'll be reminded that it was Slumdog Millionaire and we'll go, oh, I don't hardly remember that movie. And that's kind of what the Oscars can be all about. It's the movie of the moment, and it's predicting which moment we're in. And also, I want to point out that Travis worked very hard on the montage of the clips that you're going to see on the screen. He's worked very hard all week to put that together. So another pat on Travis's back. <laughs>